like I said, 45 years experience. Yeah, I think everybody is familiar with the Obagi line, right? It, it's hard to say what my favorite products are because they all really work synergistically together to give you that great healthy skin. Three things I think that are most important are something to cleanse the skin, protect the skin, and moisturize the skin. Clearly, as we've been in this industry over time, one of the very, very consistent things that we see is patients who have a lot of sun exposure, a lot of UV damage, prematurely age. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Beauty in the Brain, the podcast where we talk about all things aesthetics. I'm your host, Dr. Chris Crowley. And I'm Jerry Drinkard, family nurse practitioner. Together, Chris and I own Skin and Tonic, a med spa located in Pace, Florida. Today, we're going to be talking about some fun things, including skincare. That kind of goes all over the all over the place, and not just what we do in the clinic as far as injectables, but some other things. Do you want to dive into it a little? Yeah, we're going to talk about all things skincare today. It's a, an exciting show. It's a, a show that we're going to talk about a lot of questions that our patients ask us, our friends ask us, our family ask us. They're always wanting to know, why do we need to be, buy a skincare product from you or any other med spa in the area? Why can't I just go to one of the local drugstores and get something cheap off the shelf? So we're going to dive into that a little bit. You and I are going to kind of talk about our opinions and how we bring things into the practice, how we choose what we offer in our practice. And um, we're also going to have one of our uh, local reps, one of our local reps from Zio products that we carry in our office, and uh, she's going to bring uh, you know, her opinion, her expertise to the table to kind of uh, share with you what they have in their product line. So uh, let's go ahead and, and just start, and um, maybe do you want to just kind of explain to the listeners um, and viewers how we pick a skincare line that we're going to bring into the office? Yeah, I, I think it's really important that um, that people understand that you have to have some sort of support system for this skin outside of just um, just an injectable, just Botox and just filler. And so we have to have, we get the best results when we have a healthy skin. And that starts, we've said for years and years, the three things I think that are most important are something to cleanse the skin, protect the skin and moisturize the skin. And there, we all have different skin types. So naturally there's a million products on the market. Um, and that can really kind of cloud the decision-making process and make it difficult. I know I struggle from time to time, even being in the business because there's so many good things out there. What we were looking for when we chose the skincare line for Skin and Tonic was something that was, was an inclusive skincare line that could take care of all of our population. And we treat patients from the acneic 14, 15 year old, you know, up to the patients that are well in their 70s and 80s. And so I think it's really, difficult to find a product line that does all of these things and so it takes a lot of research. One of the main things that I really liked about the ZO product line, which is one of the products that we have, is that it is an inclusive product line that offers a lot of beneficial products. We have said for years um, that there's some very basic skincare products that we all need and then we can kind of customize that and add to it based on uh, you know individual patient concerns. And we've had a number of lines in our practice over the years. We still carry multiple lines in the practice. We've kind of changed over time. So part of it is um, a business decision. Part of it is what um, fits well within our practice. And, and part of it's the support that we get you know from the companies that we work with. Uh, I do think that there are a lot of good products out there on the market. Um, I think there are a lot of good products that we have to have to choose from. So when it comes down to what you bring into your practice, I think you have to evaluate the um, line overall. So where do they source their ingredients? Are they high quality ingredients? Are they reliable? So are you going to, if I um, have a, a, you know, a tube of their cleanser, or moisturizer, whichever company is it that um, we're using, is that going to be the same? when I buy that next month and the next month is there consistency with the product. So we know that our patients um, are going to be able to get predictable, consistent results. Um, you know, what are the other things that they put in there? Are they using certain types of, um, you know, preservatives and fillers and things that are going to cause a lot of reactions on the skin. So I think that's really important. So are the ingredients um, pure? What other things do they, they put in their products? So we've looked at all that over the years as we've kind of shifted and decided on what we're going to bring into um, the office. One of the things that, you know, the product lines that we carry now, so we have a, a few, we have um, Elastin, we have um, Zio, 
Uh, we have a couple of Alari uh, skincare products, and um, it's the support that we get from all the companies. And so when I mean support, I'm not talking just about price. I'm talking about uh, product education. So you and I have done this for a long time, but not everybody in our office has. And so we provide them education on the products. But um, we find that it, it's very important that if we get um, education for our estheticians and our support staff, on the products that we carry so they can actually help the patients make informed decisions because as you mentioned it can be a little bit overwhelming when you look at all the different creams lotions cleansers you know eye mask eye creams lip mask and i think it's important as well to have those options we you know we also have some of the jamarini products still we also have hydropeptide a, a few of those products which is something that we've had for goodness probably what yeah, I was going to say 12, but probably 10 years. Um, and so all products don't match all skin types. And so me for one, I, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit inconsistent at times as far as my, my brands. And so I use a, brand, a cleanser brand that's hydropeptide. And then I use, uh, you know, some of the Jamarini products that still, I still love the ZO products. And so I think it's a combination and figuring out exactly what, what works for you. So. Yeah, and something that the patient's going to be compliant with. So in, uh, you know, the medical aesthetic space or in our industry, patients are coming in and they're spending hundreds or thousands of dollars on injectables, fillers, Botox, uh, lasers, all sorts of things that we do to improve their overall appearance. And if they're not going home and taking care of that in some manner, they're not going to get the best results. And so we definitely see that over and over as our patients who have the best results are the ones who are on a good uh, regimen at home and they're compliant with that. Well, it really is insurance for the treatments that they're already getting at the clinic. I mean, the last thing you want to do is come in and you know spend a lot of money on a laser treatment and then not go home and take care of it, not moisturize it properly or provide it the proper care during the healing process. And then certainly the sun protection, I'm no telling how many times we'll say that over the next 25, 30 minutes, but um, I think that's probably one of the the biggest components of a skincare regimen is a, is a good, um, sunscreen. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, how many times <laughs> we both love tanning beds, like when we were younger, we wanted to go to the beach, we wanted to spray tan, and we wanted to get in a tanning bed. Like you would always say, when I would get off the plane, you never knew what, you know, shade of brown I was going to be because I would like to tan so much, the darker the better. But clearly, as we've been in this industry over time, one of the very, very consistent things that we see is patients who have a lot of sun exposure, a lot of UV damage, prematurely age. And it's very difficult. We can fight it. There's lasers, there's treatments, there's things we can do to help fight that. But, but truly, the patients who have the best result are the ones who never get the damage to start with. So the ones that use sun protection consistently, daily, not just uh, when they're going to be out at the beach, but every day when they're going out about their activities. And it's really hard for us to convince people to do that because I think, uh, you know, a nice, uh, healthy uh, glow it, it equals a tan. And so we've uh, really tried to educate our patients on the importance of that and some of the really um, nice self tanners and bronzers and different things on the market that they can use that they don't have to go out and get that UV exposure to have that nice, healthy glow. We live in this area because of the weather. You know, that's one of the things that we love about it. And it's, it's, it's difficult. I mean, we're in beautiful Pensacola, Florida, and we have some of the best beaches in the world. And so um, we're in an area where, where sun protection is a huge deal. So, so there's different kinds of uh, sun protectant. And, and again, some people prefer uh, heavier coverage. Some people want to use some sun protection with a little bit of a tint in it instead of makeup to kind of help. So we do have a few lines of products in our um, office. But one of the things I, I kind of want to, you know, um, talk about is how do, how do you recommend to patients, um, if we have three brands there, how do you guide them towards a brand of, uh, that they're going to be able to, to have good results and be compliant with? A male patient and a female patient are a lot different. The female patients absolutely love a, a sunscreen that has a little tint, and females tend to 
be okay with something that feels a little heavier on the skin. I don't know whether from years of wear makeup or they tend to be a little bit better also at skincare. And so if I have a male patient, I choose something that's light. Or if I have an older patient that doesn't want as much tint or color, I choose a sunscreen that has like no color to it. If I have a patient that's wanting to wear less makeup, but gonna be out and wants a little tint, something to even their, um, their skin tone, then I choose a sunscreen that's appropriate for that. So we, um, we're very fortunate that there are lots of really good products on the market and we carry a lot of those in the clinic. So it kind of gives us a, a buffet of things to choose from based on our patient's needs. Yeah, and I think the thing that you just mentioned that's most important is compliant. So it's gotta be something that feels good on their skin that, uh, that they're comfortable wearing because if they're not gonna use it because it feels oily, heavy, uh, whatever the case may be, it looks too dark, too tinted, it's not tinted enough, then it's not gonna do them any good sitting on their shelf. So we really try to give them options for something that feels good when they put it on that is not feeling like their skin or their pores are clogged and that they're gonna uh, wanna pick that up in the morning and put it on before they walk out of their house. Now we're gonna welcome to the show uh, one of our friends, one of our partners is uh, Miss Corey Black from Zia Skin Health. We absolutely love Corey, and so uh, this, uh, in the beginning of the episode, you guys heard us talk about how we uh, pick a skincare a product line that we're gonna bring into the office. And one of those things was our partnership, our relationship with our local reps and the education the company provides. So we could not be happier with uh, Zio Skin Health and especially with Corey. So thank you for coming today. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm excited. Love your Zio Blue that she's uh, sporting always. today, always. I love those colors as well, Jerry. Just won't <laughs> makes me wear scrubs for this. But <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll change it next time. Yeah, we'll change it up next time. So Corey, um, yeah, we've talked a little bit about um, the skincare product lines and what's out there on the market. And um, maybe if you just want to start a little bit, do you want to tell us about your background and how you got into this industry? And Sure. I was a pharmaceutical rep for 15 years and... Um, aesthetics was really kind of coming in about 10 years ago when I started going and having things done, you know, just skincare, things like that. And I was like, you know what, this would be a fun job. So I networked with reps and there just happened to be seven years ago, an expansion with EO and I got the job and I've been here for seven years and I love it. I'm very passionate about it. It's a great, it's a great company. Yeah, and you, you do a great job uh, for them as well. Um, you know, when you hear people talk about, you know, going to one of the local uh, pharmacies and just picking up some over-the-counter stuff, I know it just makes you cringe. So uh, what message do you have, um, or how do you get across to people that it's so important to use a, a good quality skincare line and not just something from one of the local drugstores? The biggest thing with that is you do see it a lot, especially with Sephora's and Ulta's. You go in and you have all these things that you can buy and you spend all the money on that. But when you're doing, when you're in a medical practice and you're getting Botox, toxins, fillers, you know, lasers, microneedling, all those services, you can do all of that. But if you don't have healthy skin, that's the biggest thing. And Zio is a medical grade line. Dr. Abaji has been in skincare for over 45 years. He is, you know, he's known, you know, all the ingredients, the things that provide results, everything works at the cellular level. So therefore getting your skin healthy, and that's the biggest thing. Your medical grade skincare lines are gonna provide healthy skin. So therefore you're gonna get better results for all the things you're doing in the office. So it's just a win-win for everyone if you're on a medical grade line and not using something over the counter. I think it's a little misconception too, because I think people just assume that it's so much more expensive to go into a skincare place and buy a medical grade skincare versus over the counter. But you know, the concentration of the ingredients is so much more in our medical grade skincare that it takes less of it. And so at the, you know, at the end of the day, the cost is probably pretty, pretty close to being equivalent and especially for the results that you're going to get. So I think cost is something that really, and convenience. I mean, I get like, you know, one-stop shop, go in and pick up your prescriptions and grab some St. Ives scrub, yeah. <laughs> which for years was Chris's favorite exfoliant. I love me some St. Ives. <laughs> no, who did it back then? Yeah, I, I mean, know. I was like, I had no idea what I was doing to my face. Right. We had no idea. No we clue. were tearing off our epidermis. Right. And, and we just talked about how I loved um, 
tanning beds and spray oh tans gosh. and sun, right? So yeah. we're doing St. Ives, tanning, all the things we shouldn't do that now I have to pay a fortune to reverse all that damage. 100%. Most of us do. And then we also live in Florida. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I think the, the good thing about, um, you know, a company like Zio and one of the reasons that we um, enjoy partnering with you guys and, and carrying the products in our office is you do have a large uh, variety of products. So it meets a lot of patients' needs because we do know that there are, you know, people, some like a heavier cleanser, some need more, more, more moisture, some people are oily. But uh, the great thing is that there's a, a large product line to choose from to meet those individual um, patients' needs. So, um, you know, we, I know we've talked about it some off camera and we talked about it over, you know, the, diff the years that we've worked together. But what do you, um, you know, say, so we have a lot of listeners out there that are, are new injectors or maybe opening practices and they may find these products cheaper on Amazon and just want to buy them and, and then resell them. Um, can you comment on that? So Zio has, we have a 24 hour anti-diversion team. We nonstop, you know, surf the internet for products. When we find those products, we actually send cease and desist, um, stopping those products from being sold. When, when a line gets super popular, people will, you know, say, oh, I want to, you know, take my product that I just won or, you know, bought and I decide I want to just sell it, make money. That happens. There's also counterfeit products. So you never know what you're going to get online. So, you know, with ZO, we offer, there's many benefits to, you know, one opening with ZO. There's the partnership, there's the education that we provide. There is, um, you know, we have things such as the physician online store. So you have your own hyperlink. And if you don't carry a certain product, your patients can click on that hyperlink, hyperlink on your website, takes them directly to ZO, they get the ZO products, but then you also get commission from that. And it's and so it's a great partnership. We're trying to help alleviate, if you don't have that, they can get it from ZO, but you also get benefits from them having ordered through your store. So the biggest thing is just, you don't know what you're getting when you're on Amazon. Yeah, I think that's what, what we worry about more. I didn't even think about people reselling yeah. like if they want it or something. Yeah. That never crossed my mind. Yeah. I was thinking more counterfeit products. Yeah. I can attest to that. I have um, a skin product that I've used as a cleanser for years. I have, I've battled acne all my life and, um, and probably 10 or 12 years ago found a, a cleanser. It's a cleanser, a toner, and a makeup remover, oddly enough, but it's kept me clear. And so we didn't have any... Um, and at the house and so I just went on Amazon real quick and ordered it and thinking that it was going to be the same product and it came in it didn't smell the same it wasn't the same texture it didn't foam but it was bottled and packaged exactly like the product that I've been using for years and, and it had didn't take off his drag makeup nearly as easily yeah it, it was it, <laughs> as I struggled with the lip liner um, <laughs> But it was, but had I not known, had I not previously used that product, I would have had no idea that it wasn't the, what it was supposed to be, what it claimed to be. It happens with shampoos too. I've, I've done that and been there, so. Yeah, so lesson learned. So. Could you uh, tell us some about the, the ingredients or some of your favorite products with the Zio line? And The cool thing about Zio is that our chief scientist works really hard on, you know, things evolve, right? So we don't want a, a skincare line that stays stagnant. We want things that have updated ingredients, delivery systems. We have patented delivery systems and ingredients. And so you'll find, let's say for example, every one of our sunscreens has a 12 hour antioxidant release. So what that means is, you know, most sunscreens will cover you for about a couple hours. You're going to get for 12 hours, antioxidant release of A, C, and E, which helps against free radicals. So those are the extra things that our chief scientist really looks at when he's creating products, updating products. Um, people ask me all the time what my favorite products are. It's so hard to find the, say which one is my favorite. Um, I mean, growth factor serum, daily power defense, firming serum, what those products are doing to the skin as far as, you know, upregulating up collagen, um, elastin. It, it's those products. And, you know, our growth, growth factor serum is a plant-based growth factor, but it's been published in major journals. So it, it's hard to say what my favorite products are because they all really work synergistically together to give you that great healthy skin. 
I can my favorite by far. I can tell you easily is the vitamin C. Yeah, I love the way it goes on. Yeah. it feels so smooth. I yep. like all the other products as well, but yep. I love the vitamin C. We do have a unique vitamin C. Mine is the Daily Power Defense. Yes, because it doesn't feel like I have anything on. Exactly. And like it's one of the products I can truly like. If I forget to put it on first thing in the morning, I miss it by lunch. That's our number one selling product. Just to back up, like real briefly about antioxidants, can you just kind of explain what that is? I think it's on so many products, and I don't think a lot of people really understand what an antioxidant is or what the benefit is. So, can you just kind of touch on that real briefly? So, antioxidants are really important for uh, premature aging. So, like your vitamin C, um, our our sunscreens, our AOX product, it has the 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 twelve hour release of A, C, and E. Those Antioxidants are super important for free radical damage and prevention of aging. So it's it's really helping that premature aging happen, happening. So it's important to have an antioxidant on board, whether it's vitamin C, AOX, just make sure you've got an antioxidant on board, especially where we live, but anywhere in the environment. It's, you know, that's causing damage to our skin. Anybody that has not tried the AOX serum. Yes. Got to try it. I have it on today. Yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, we, we use that frequently as well. Yes. So, um, you know, I think something that's interesting and I, that a lot of our patients uh, don't realize, and maybe listeners don't realize out there either, is uh, Dr. Obagi's involvement with Zio. Yeah. So can you tell a little bit about how Zio, the, the company story, and, and wh- how we got to where we are now with Zio? So Dr. Obagi created Zio about 15 years ago, and Zio is actually his name, Zain Obagi. So he created the Zio line and the things that he has done, you know, differently with this line is, has, are those patented re- release um, delivery systems and ingredients. So those offer, you know, this line is very easily tailored to every skin type. So that's what I love about there's not a person or skin type that cannot use Zio. And, you know, whether you have sensitive skin, which will strengthen through our protocols, or if you have acneic skin, if you have anti-aging pigment, all those things, there's not a product or protocol that someone can't use. And that's what I love about, you know, Zio. But Dr. Obagi, you know, he's, like I said, 45 years experience. Yeah, I think everybody's familiar with the Obagi line, right? And I don't think they put it together that he's developed this line. Exactly. Because uh, we still get to ask that question today. Right. But he's so well known in this whole industry for his, you know, kind of revolutionary skincare product. You know, he was a pathologist before he was a derm. So that's why he's very into what's happening at the cellular level. Therefore, that's why all of our products work at the cellular level. So you're, therefore you're getting the changes in the skin. So are there any new and exciting products that are coming up that you can talk about? Um, well, there's always something new and exciting yeah. coming. <laughs> um, and we'll always, you know, have a meeting and then come back and ready to launch that product. So, you know, we had two new sunscreens this year, a new cleanser. Um, there's always something new coming. Now, talking about the sunscreens, I do want to go back and just uh, clarify there. You're not saying because of the patented release of, uh, you know, the antioxidants over 12 hours that they only need to put their sunscreen on every 12 hours. No. Right? They need to still frequently reapply that because of the blockers, the sun, the UV blockers that are in that. Uh, just like any of the other sunscreen products. I just want to make sure we, we put that out there. We're not saying it's a Always reapply product. your sunscreen, but just know that Zio's sunscreens do have that patented 12-hour antioxidant release against those free radicals. Well, so what are some emerging trends or things that you've seen that are, are changing kind of with the medical aesthetics and the medical-grade skincare line? Do you see that that's something that more people are using now? Do you think more people are aware of it now? Yes, and I will tell you, I think because I lived through COVID with Zio, one of the things when, when practices shut down, there was one thing that was making them money, that was skincare. And so I think people really realized how important it was to have a medical grade skincare line in your practice because when you couldn't be there face to face, that's something that you could do Zoom online consults and, and mail those products to people. And that was continuing the practice, getting the practice, you know, paid. I feel like most people a lot of times see when you're opening an aesthetics practice, you're looking at bringing on toxins, fillers, you know, all these different lasers and devices. Skincare is truly important because if you don't have healthy skin, 
you can put toxins and fillers in them all day long and you're not going to get those best results. So it's, it really does all work together, having medical grade skincare with your services to provide the optimal results. People, people are going to be happy. And it makes their results last longer. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's, we, we mentioned it earlier in the um, in this episode. It's really insurance for the, for the treatment that you're coming in for, you know. Protecting your investment. It protects the investment. Now, uh, what area do you cover, Corey, your territory? I'm based out of Destin, Florida, but I do travel to Tallahassee, Florida, and I do South Alabama, so Mobile, Pretty much the Panhandle. The whole Panhandle, Florida, Mobile. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for those of you out there that are listening, you can get in touch with Corey if you want to bring. I know we, you have a large presence in, in our area. There's a lot of practices, a lot of really good uh, aesthetic practices, med spas, and we always talk about how fortunate we are to have so many good injectors. And I know that you partner with a lot of those practices. So we carry it in our office, obviously. Um, if anybody's interested, they can come and see us. But if not, there's a lot of uh, practices in the area or they can contact you if they want to. Yeah, well, you're an exclusive account. So you've got, you know, all of the things that people need. Yeah, uh, we, I mean, we love having that. We love it. We also we love, love it. it. Our patients love it. And it's nice for us to be able to offer them like such a such an inclusive product line. For me, it, it's not just I'm selling you skincare and I'm moving on. It's it's truly a partnership and a lot of times my my accounts are like family and I truly enjoy that. It's I'm passionate about the feedback you give me. Clients text you and say, "Wow, my skin has changed." I get messages, "My skin is transformed." That makes me feel good. That's what it's about. The same thing when you're injecting and doing services in your practice when they come back and they're happy, that makes you happy, you know? So for me it's a fa we're family. Yeah. Well, you're a huge resource for us because I know the the girls, if we have a, a question come in or a problem patient come in, oh, of course. that we can use you as a resource. 100%. And so that's, to me, that is one of the huge differences in this product line versus a lot of others is the resources that we have as a clinic, which is a resource for our patients. And at the end of the day, that's the reason we all do this. Yes, for sure. We have ongoing trainings, whether it's live trainings with our trainers, whether it's webinars, I mean, knowledge is power, and the more you know, the more successful you're going to be. And so if you don't know it, though, you all know how available I am. Text me, call me, I'll answer the question, and, and we'll get it fixed. And I think that, that that really, I mean, that's key, because we've seen that our retail sales have increased, but that's directly correlated with the education. And I don't, you know... For, for people out there listening, it's not that we're just trying to sell and make money. Obviously, we're a business, so making money is a goal. But really, we've always been in this business because we wanted to make people happy. We wanted to provide them aesthetic results that they um, really are proud of, that makes them feel better about their, their self overall and their skin especially. And so we have had different product lines in. And one of the things we saw was the, oh, when our sales started going up, the biggest difference was the education in our staff, our extended staff, and because now they can really educate the patients on what we have that's best for their individual skin. So they're not just going and grabbing one thing off the shelf and then not having good results and it sits under their bathroom counter forever. They're actually using the products because they're seeing the results, they love the results, and then they're coming back. So from a practice standpoint, it's been good, and from a patient standpoint, it's been good. That's consensus for sure. Yeah, any final words that you'd like to leave us with? You know, I mean, I'm just thankful for your partnership with Zio. I'm thankful that you're providing your clients and patients the best. I believe it's the best. I, I've used it for seven years, even used it prior before being a rep. Thank you for having me today. Hopefully everyone has learned something about Zio. And if there's anything I can do, you know I'm always here. Yes, we appreciate Thank you so it. much for coming. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Why don't you uh, join us again next week for another episode of Beauty and the Brain, and uh, we really appreciate Corey being here with us today. Thank you. All right. See you soon.